Crawler? Clerk Crawler. Yes? How are you feeling? Busy. It's like nobody's been sorting the mail for days. Would you mind if I, uh, went inside your mind and sorted a few things out? Eh, uh, I'm never opposed to anything getting properly sorted. Ford's mind in here for me to reconnect. It'll probably be up in that giant clunky head. Hey, I came out of that clunky head. Really? Can you help me get in there? Uh, maybe, to tell you the truth. I'm not addressed very well, so I'm sure I'll be marked return to sender and sent back there soon. Just grab on. Did someone say return to sender? This letter's got no return address. I'm afraid that means the dead letter office for you. But the point is, I'm a heartfelt love letter. Don't care who you courted, the feelings must get sorted. Out of here, will you still take me up to the head? Yes, but quick, before he... Whoa! Ah! <laughs> Mistake. This doesn't belong in the dead letter office. <laughs> Look at that address. It belongs in the international dead letter office. What? No, wait. Uh oh. Just hold still. I'm gonna get you out of here. Oh no. <laughs> Some letters are such a pain in the neck, they really belong in the furnace. Wait. I think I know how to address this one. Really? Well, it's worth a shot. But don't take all day. The mail must sail into tomorrow, no time to borrow. Boy, I hope you know what you're doing. That's the name we all forgot. Now let's send that off and see what we get. Mailbox. You aren't allowed in here. You've been missorted. You touch that, and it's a federal crime. <gasps> what did you say in that letter? Nothing important, really. Just that I loved her. She just wanted to help, but they, they pushed her too far. How should we have known? It's not like she was marked fragile. But I thought I knew her and everything she held inside herself. Ah, I had so much to learn. I guess some packages are better left unopened. Finally! I thought you'd never say hi. I tell ya, I have been waiting for someone to come visit for a long time. 
I was starting to think I was invisible. You ever get that feeling? Well, there was this one girl who looked kind of like a blue scarecrow. But she scared me. But you seem nice. So did I guess your name right? It's Raz. Oh, that was the very next name I was going to say, I swear. So, how long are you committing yourself for? Four years. Wow, that's a lot. Why don't you just try it for a little bit and we go from there? Try what now? Psycho-isolation, silly. We don't commit people anymore without their consent. Unless they're a danger to themselves or others. How many people you got in there? Oh, just Agent Bool right now. He likes it in there. Keeps him from feeling overwhelmed by all the you-know-what in the woods. Goats? Voices. He can't shut them out. Can you believe he even finds me overwhelming? <laughs> so anyway, I've got a nice room ready for you if you'd like it. Actually, I'm just here to visit Agent Bool. Oh. Well, okay. Just be careful. Don't ask him too many things at once, or he'll curl up into a little ball and something might explode. Hmm. I see what you're doing there. Hmm. Oh, you think you're clever, don't you? Looks like there's a senior league membership card stuck in this frame. Hey, don't even look at that. It's private. Agent Bull? Huh? Hi. I'm Rasputin. I'm a friend of your grandson. Oh, no. He hasn't hurt anybody else, has he? No humans that I know of. Good. <laughs> Good. Do you need help getting out of there? No. I put myself in here. Why did you put yourself in there? Well, I was feeling a little overwhelmed. And when I get overwhelmed, accidents happen. I see Lizzie introduced you to Harold. Oh, no. Harry Kasparov here showed up on his own. So why is Lizzie still out there looking for animals? Oh, well, I mostly sent her away well, just because there was too many voices in here. Hint, hint. Agent Bull, I need your help. Oh, no. W with what? I need help catching the mole and the psychonauts. Sorry, don't do moles. They're little snouts. Give me the heebie-jeebies. I need a senior league membership card. What? Well, don't look at mine. Please, Agent Bull. It's important. That bowling card is a precious memento of a dear friend. Oh, I'm sorry. Did she... Die? No, no, she's somewhere. Out in the forest. What? Well, let's go find her. Well, I've tried for years, but I just can't anymore. Please let me borrow your senior league membership card. No! Now buzz off! <laughs> Buss off. Hey, hang on a second. Exactly what I was thinking, Harold. The bees could help. Cassie and I always loved working with bees in the forest. If you could bring me just one bee, I'll bet I could talk to it and find out where my Cassie is. No kidding? Here, take this and hurry. Okay, one bee coming up. Mm-hmm. Mom told me you needed help. With what? Reading crystal balls? Beat it, Nostra dumbass. Look, Dion. I know you're mad about me running away. <sighs> Don't flatter yourself. If you hadn't stolen Frazy's horse, we wouldn't have even noticed you were gone. You sure look like you could use some help. You look like you could use a tailor. You sure you're using the right knots on those support ropes? I don't know. 
Why don't you come a little closer so I can practice my knots on you? Hey, I sent Sugar Q back home as soon as I got to the train tracks. Poor little thing was exhausted. Next time you run away, instead of taking the world's smallest pony, call a cab. You'll get farther. Maybe we won't be able to find you. How long are you planning on being mad like this? Forever! Do you even realize what you've done? To the Aquato name? Psychics? Fortune tellers? You let out our family's worst secret. This family has too many secrets. We'll be better off when they're all out. We'll be better off when you're out. Dion. Don't you think it's time to get over your anti-psychic stuff? I will when it stops hurting our family. Frazy's a psychic. Oh, that's a great example. Yeah, we should all be more like Frazy. Ow! You wish you could be more like me. <laughs> Dad's a psychic. It's a phase. Bye, Dion. Crazy? I know it's you. I'm not stupid. Ah! <laughs> ah! ah, crud, it's you. I thought I finally caught a critter. Why are you hunting? Aren't they feeding you? I'm interning with Compton Bull. He sent me out here to catch him some animals. I really don't know if you should be bringing animals to Agent Bull. His grandson is a friend of mine, but that family can be a little bit rough on animals. Oh? And you've never side-blasted a squirrel, nature boy? Uh... That's what I thought. Anyway, it's no use. I'd have to go deeper into the forgetful forest for any really good animals. And there's no way I'm going in there. Why? Telekinetic bears? <gasps> Has nobody told you? About the green needle witch who haunts these woods? Her mother was a banshee, and her father was a porcupine. Let me guess. She hates children and kills them on sight. No, she loves children. She follows them through the forest, and when she catches them, she gives them a big hug. That doesn't sound so... Impaling them on her needles, filling them with holes. Okay, if you could just let me down now. Children, beware. She's there. She's there. The Green Needle Witch has waited. She wants a hug. Don't dare. Don't dare. Or soon you'll be perforated. <laughs> I'm getting a strong psychic sense that Lizzie and Norma are sisters. Sibling detection is one of the less celebrated tools in the Psychonauts playbook. The kind they don't get badges for. Agent Bull, I got some visitors here who are really excited to... Ah! I said one! I only needed one B! Shoo! Shoo! Get out of here! I got extra. They seem friendly. Oh no! Don't all talk at once, please! I can't take it! I can't! It's too much! Too much! Oh no! Don't explode! And don't explode me. Agent Bull? Ah! What's wrong? Too many voices. Too many everything. Want me to kill those bees? No! Like with fire, maybe. It's totally not a problem. Please, don't hurt them. Would you mind if I made a quick and very quiet, uh, wellness check? Inside your mind? Ah. Uh, Scream once for yes, I may enter your mind, and twice for no. Ah. Uh, Great. Out of my way, bees.
No, not yet. I'm not ready. Cassie's not here. Not ready for what? Dinner. Uh-oh. Let me guess. We're on the menu? No. Worse. Judgment. Court is in session. Please remain standing. If you're able. Let's take a five minute recess. Oh, oh no, 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 no. Anything but this. It's time for... Ram it down! Good evening, and welcome to Ram it Down. I'm your host, Tin Can Zanotto. And tonight, we'll watch one lucky contestant prepare three increasingly complicated dishes in an attempt to please our celebrity judges. Impossible! He'll never do it. He's nothing without Cassie. <laughs> and he's the nice one. <laughs> well, let's get to our first dish, a tragic delicacy from a troubled nation. A Grulovian drowned egg. Ooh. First, our contestant will have to find a very outspoken egg. Ooh, me! Pick me! Boil it in hot water. I'm all fired up and ready to go. Prepare it with an unruly onion. He said my name! That's been sliced into pieces. Just call me Pork Stopper. Put them both together on a plate and see if the judges can bear to... Ram it down! Finish your dish before the clock runs out and you'll win valuable prizes from the Mystery Box. What do you say? Think you're up to the challenge? Sounds easy. We got this. Right, partner? Partner? Yeah, what was I expecting? He's assembled all his ingredients. If Chef would just hit that button, we can begin the presentation. Did we make it? I, I'm not sure. We... Eat, 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 eat. Well, eat, here eat, we eat, are. Eat, at eat, the moment eat, of truth. Eat, eat, Will eat, we be looking eat, at a drowned egg? Or eat, a drowned eat, contestant? Eat, 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 eat. Ooh. Reveal the meal. <gasps> so, what we did was we took an egg, boring, and we popped it into the water. Pedestrian. Uh, then, uh, then Chef had the idea to uh, withhold the salt at just the right moment to create a sense of uh, longing within the yolk, if you will. You what? We think it really improves the nose feel of the composition. Hmm, compelling. Bone appet. <laughs> Surprisingly acceptable. Hey, that's not all. By finishing within the time limit, you've opened the mystery box! Well, don't just stand there resting on your laurels. That one was a gimme. Let's see how you do on your next dish. Shoo! Congratulations! You did it! How does it feel? Um, well... Fantastic! Well, get ready, because it's time for your next dish! Right after this commercial message. Ah! 
Agent Pool, an important thing to do when you're feeling evil. See, Agent Pool? You can do it. Next one won't be so easy. You got that right. For your next dish, you'll be creating a strawberry jam croque madame. Ooh la la! You'll need to boil another egg. <laughs> easy. Take some bread. I've already risen to the occasion. Slice it up. Bread's much nicer once it's been through the slicer. Fry it up on the griddle. I'm getting ready to rip it. Flip out. Uh, well, what about the strawberry, huh? Hey. <laughs> Glad you asked. We'll need not just any strawberry, but a strawberry that's been blended. Did someone call for patty puree? All right, monsieur. It's time to show us your best madame. Croak, 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 croak. What do you think, chef? Croak, croak, Did you get caught in a jam? Croak, 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 Are you worried about croaking? Croak, 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 croak. Reveal the meal. <gasps> What do you have to say for yourself? We have uh, attempted to infuse this dish with, um... Curiosity and resilience. The more sensitive palates among you will also discern just a dash of regret. <laughs> Slightly better than a mouthful of nails. That's not all. By finishing within the time limit, you've opened the mystery box! Now, be gone! And bring us more food! Well, you two must be feeling great after producing such a quality product for our judges. And speaking of quality products, it's time for a word from one of our sponsors. get through this. Oh, I hope I didn't just jinx it. Me too, because it's time for our third and final dish. Straight from the Lumber Stack Diner, it's the Honey Pepper Pancake Stacker. You'll need another egg. We're old friends. He boiled my dad and grandfather. Oh, but this time that egg needs to fry. Then I'm your guy, Ribbit. Next, you'll need a boar. I'm just a pig, but trust me, I'm game! Get it? Whatever, as long as that pig gets sliced. That's a little sick, man. And fried. Wait, I got a bowl of double shift? To give our pancake stack that signature beehive look, you're going to be using an actual beehive. Oh, I'm all a buzz! I wish Cassie were here to handle those bees. But wait, there's more. The final touch of summery sweetness comes from a watermelon. It's about Tom. That's been chopped. Sure, I guess. Uh, kind of still thinking about that pig, though. And then blended. Oh. <laughs> Looks like I'm the big finish. No pressure, but this is Ford Cruller's favorite dish. To mess this up would be an insult to the very heart of the Psychonauts. Yeah. So, chefs, better get cooking. Have I mentioned that when prepared improperly, the honey pepper pancake stacker can produce an interesting byproduct? No, I didn't mention the possibility of a deadly swarm of killer bees. Ha, ah, no matter. Let's see what we got. Reveal the meal. <gasps> Is that the tallest stack you can manage? It's taller than it looks. Because we put the literal height of the horizontality of the flavor profile 
if you will. Moderately pleasant. Ah, that's not all. By finishing within the time limit, you've opened the mystery box. Well, Chef, it looks like you've won over not just our judges, but also our audience. How do you feel? I, uh, well, I, I, I couldn't have done it without this young man here. No way! You can totally do this on your own now, Agent Bull. No, don't say that. That's great to hear. Because it's time for what, audience? Double Down! No! That's right. It's time to double down. Chef will be cooking alone in our isolation station, completely dependent on his sous chef to gather the ingredients he needs for the final three dishes. Don't worry, Agent Poole. I'll get you all the ingredients you need. What do you think, judges? Ready for another course? No problem. We're... Mm. professionals. Uh, we might have to... Uh, make a little room. Okay, first dish is vegetable medley. Ingredients on the board. I'm getting out of here before things get messy. Oh. Well, I don't know about you, but I've certainly had my fill of excitement today. All right, everybody, let's clean up this mess. Aww. Come on, get a move on. Clean kitchen, clean mind. Ah, uh, you see, this is why I usually get takeout. <laughs> oh, <laughs> that is so Cassie. But what do you mean they won't let her out? What librarian? Hmm. Here, my boy. You've earned this. I need to go find Cassie right away. Lost? We'll never get lost. I know that forest like the back of my hand. Wait! Don't you want... help? Hmm. Guess he doesn't. Open up! Look a little young for the senior league, hmm? I keep all my gray hidden under the helmet. Hmm. Ah, good tip. Ready, Ed. Would you mind if I stepped inside your mind for a minute? Sure. Better than you stepping inside one of these shoes. I tell you, it's like Germ City in there. giant Ford head. I wonder if there's any brains in there. More than you got, Sonny. The end is coming! Oh, give it a rest, guy! Death is coming from above! Uh... Guy was right. All hail Guy the Prophet. Didn't mean to ruin your date!
It's here! Just like I said! Here comes the big one! It's the spring. end of spring! It's the big one! Bring it's so beautiful! Hey, bowlers aren't allowed in here. Now get for a spray here. Don't touch that. That's private. Oh! You and... you loved her? Her name is Lucretia, but I called her Lucy. And even from that first date in that grimy bowling alley, I knew. Knew that it was too good to last forever? Hey, all relationships end one way or another. Well, I just didn't think it would end so badly. Hey, cheer up. Even gutter balls return. Eventually. Sorry, with a client right now, obviously. Think you'll be done with that haircut soon? Please, you can't rush an artist. I see a big missing chunk on this side. What's that? Not to fear, only temporary. All part of the process. <laughs> Would you mind if I jumped into your mind for a second? Just to even out some split ends. If it'll keep you quiet, then go right ahead. Shaggy. Well, not to worry. A fresh cut and you'll feel like a whole new person. Just make sure you cut away the right parts or your old friends will recognize you. I'm here to recover a piece of Ford's mind. And something tells me it's up in that lighthouse. Me or you? Ford, it's me, Raz. Are you really the same person I used to know? Ford, I just saw you. Remember? The bacon? I can't even recognize the person you become. I feel a bad storm gathering. Drawn close. Very close. Uh, hey guys, that's a little bit too close, okay? Hey, you lousy little mite, how'd you get in here? Don't push me. I'll goggle a whole bottle of hydrocide if I need to. Oh, oh. Lucretia went to Grulovia. She went back to protect her family, to help her country. Oh, but it changed her. War changes everybody. Inside all of us, we all have dark roots. Well, sometimes we need that darkness to survive. Careful. Sometimes it's hard to get it back in the bottle. Rasputin. Agent Crawler, how do you feel? I've done a terrible thing. And so have you. But we just wanted to undo what Maligula did to you. Maligula didn't do this to me. That's the first thing I've learned in here. The rest, you're gonna have to see for yourself. Ford, what is it? See for yourself. Agent 
Agent Crawler, I'm getting less sure I want to see this. Oh no, I don't think you'll want to see this at all. Six treatment. I did what I had to do. I loved her after all. Wait, what? Someday when you fall in love, you'll understand. Ford, what's going on here? What did you want me to see? I couldn't let her go free. She was a danger to the world. Even though it was the world that made her dangerous. Lucretia? Where is she? Safe. She's safe. Well, she was. But we all were. <laughs> Not anymore. Look, Ford. Whatever I'm supposed to know, just spit it out. I had to hide her from the world because they'd never forgive her. And I had to hide her from me because I'd never forget her. Where? Where did you hide her? She's with family. Grandparents Laszlo and Morona. They drowned in the Valermo Dam disaster, remember? What? No! Grandpa Laszlo died there, but Grandma made it out and came to live with my father. No, Raz. She didn't. Ford, I just saw her today. No, you didn't. <laughs> 